Greetings from Nara Japan and welcome to the Nara Gelt Meet the Members interview series. I'm Lee McDowell, the chapter president of Nara Gelt, and it's my great pleasure to host this interview series. The aim of Meet the Members is, as the name suggests, to meet chapter members, get to know them better, and learn more about our journeys through the language teaching landscape. In this episode, I'm joined by Shoji Miyanaga. Shoji has an interesting background, starting his career in chemistry and working in industry, then becoming a translator before coming into language teaching. So please enjoy this interview, and I'll see you again at the end. I am here with Nara chapter member Shoji Miyanaga. Shoji, uh, thank you very much for giving us your time and agreeing to do this interview. And welcome to mm -hmm. Nara Jelt Meet the Members series. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's start by talking a little bit about your background. Can you tell us a bit about your uh, background and mm -hmm. especially like how you came to be a language teacher? Uh, I was born in Osaka and also grew up in Osaka. Then when I entered university, it's Mekan University, I moved to Kyoto. Then I went to the graduate school of Osaka City University. Then at that time, I came back to Sakai. Then I entered Sharp Corporation, then moved to Tendi, and also to Kashiba in Nara Prefecture. And also, I moved to Matsaka in Mie Prefecture. That's why I belong to Nara Jout. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. awesome. And after quitting Sharp, I moved to Toyonaka in Osaka. Mm -hmm. And this is my personal and geographical background. And next educational and professional background. Mm. So I studied chemistry in the uh, graduate school. Then after that, ne, ano, I entered SHARP. Then I was an engineer to produce a liquid crystal displays mm. Mm, until 1999. And that, that was the plant was in Nara? Yes, intended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I also moved to Matsaka, where they had the big plants. Mm -hmm. And nice beef. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just ate once. <laughs> <laughs> then I quit shop and I wanted to be a translator. So I went to two language schools where they had translation classes. That was maybe 2000 to 2002, where I, I also became a freelance translator in 2002 until 2012. Mm -hmm. At one of the language schools, I met two great teachers. These two, yes. and Judy Noguchi and Atsuko Misaki. Then I learned of English for specific purposes there. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. The, after that, uh, to, uh, I had part-time job at graduate schools of Osaka University. One is the graduate school of uh, science and life sciences. Mm. Then I moved to information science, mm. Mm, where I made some teaching materials for e-learning. Mm. I was also involved with uh, uh, international uh, studies, like uh, study abroad. Well, also, mm -hmm. I helped invite teachers from abroad. Then, um, I got a job at the Saima Academy, where actually I met Judy Noguchi and Misaki Atsuko. Mm. 
So we three taught the uh, translation class in turn. This was 2009 to 2017. I'm guessing that was technical translation, was it like uh, research writing or um, mm. uh, in, in science and engineering, was it? Oh, the materials depend on the, what the students I see. are interested in. Mm -hmm. the, so the texts were contributed by students. Mm -hmm. So some wanted to translate, for example, newspapers or mm. essays. Okay, not specifically for science and technology. No, no, no. Mm. I just get that impression because of your background and also um, mm. uh, uh, Judy Noguchi is also grounded uh, uh, very chemistry. firmly in, in chemistry and, and mm. ESP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, yeah, ano, after starting teaching at Simon Academy, yeah, I thought I need some teaching principles. Yeah, before that, yeah, I taught the translation class based on my experience. But yeah, in addition to that, uh, I need some uh, educational and professional uh, principles. So uh, I went to Temple University, Japan, mm. then took uh, the TESO courses. Oh, where I met you actually. Yes, I was in that uh, program at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then I got a part time job at Ritzmeikan University, mm. Mm. where yeah, uh, yeah, I, I also officially hired by that university, then worked 2012 to 2014. At Ritzmeikan University, I met. Yuji Suzuki, mm. Professor Yuji Suzuki, and uh, then I, that's kind of where I ran the project based English program. Mm. Now, these two, the project based English program and the ESP, are my that's kind of principles of teaching English. Mm. Then I was hired by Kindai University mm -hmm. in 2014 mm -hmm. to nowadays. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Also, I started a PhD program at TUJ in 2012, but I quit mm -hmm. in 2020. Mm -hmm. I see. Any question? Yeah, well, that brings us up to the mm -hmm. current time and I'd like to ask you more about mm. your current teaching mm. situation at Kindai. Could you tell us a little bit about what you're mm. teaching there and how you teach, for example? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I, uh, after I entered the Kindai, yeah, uh, mm. actually I, know, I belong to the Department of Architecture. Mm. Then before I was hired, there was no English teacher there. So I was the first English teacher in that department. Then um, the English program those days was not so clear. Uh, I didn't find any kind of any philosophy or principle, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So like free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm, so I started to change, revise the curriculum mm. Mm, based on the project based English program and ESP. We have two pillars in our department. One is focused on four skills mm, writing, reading, uh, listening, speaking. Mm. And in the first year, uh, students take uh, subjects called English skills A and B. A is for listening and speaking and taught by native speaking teachers. Hmm. And B, English skills B, uh, is for reading, for which and writing. 
校2年生。And mostly taught by Japanese speakers and Japanese teachers.、うん、But higher classes are taught by native speaking teachers. The, the other pillar is、uh, project best English. We call them some Ego Enshu or English seminars.、うん、and each n e s e students, each n e s e students are required to talk about what they are interested in. Like、uh, the singers they like. Or movies they like.、Mm. So the topics are wide open for their choice. Yes, in the first semester. Their own interest, yeah.、Mm. And in the second semester, research is involved、mm. in that program. So students、uh, carry out a questionnaire、mm. or interviews and literature、mm. research. And、mm. That's your design? Yes,、うん、but、あのー、mostly、ね、I introduce the program from l i t s n e k a n University.、うん、あのー、the project based English program.、うん、And in i n e s e more research is involved. In the, in the spring term of i n e s e students、uh, make a group. Groups and studied what they like, what、um, the, the interest they share,、mm. Mm. Mm. and from different viewpoints. Each group consists of three to four students.、Mm. Then they will、um, give. A presentation in form of、uh, panel discussion and also debate、mm-hmm. in English. Yes.、Mm. Quite a high bar, I guess, it's quite a challenge for many students. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So,、mm. uh, of course, they cannot, they cannot talk.、Mm. Like a native speakers in、mm. the debate or、uh, panel discussion.、Mm. Yeah. But I think it's very important to learn how to give their opinion or ideas in the form of、uh, panel discussion and debate.、Mm. So、sure. most students write their scripts.、Yeah. Uh-huh. Sometimes they read.、Uh, it's not ideal, but I think it's necessary to、mm. start. Mm. And can they get some? Discussion going, for example, if it's a panel, can they have some discussion? Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that is a challenge. Yes. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. And in the fourth semester, fourth term of n i n e s e they are going back to、uh, private or personal. Researchers,、mm-hmm. individual researchers,、mm-hmm. mm. where they learn the, of writing a term paper, like a mini research paper,、okay. mm. starting f- with introduction、mm. and main body and conclusions.、Mm-hmm. Mm. So, you spend a bit of time teaching research writing then, if they have to write. Those papers in English, I guess they need to sort of understand what an introduction looks like, what a method looks like, what a discussion looks like.、Uh, yeah, that is not in the textbook. That is mm, mm. not included in the textbook. So I give some additional、mm-hmm. uh, teaching materials to them about the structure of、mm-hmm. uh, research papers.、Mm. Mm-hmm. Then, ねえー、to, then, for third year students,、mm. we have an elective course of project based English programs.、Mm. But sadly, few students、uh, take that course.、Mm. 
in the spring term of Sanense, so students uh, will looking for jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the topics hmm. topics will be uh, topics are on their personal research. Okay. Uh, these such topics because in the fourth semester of Sanense, they belong to each laboratories. Mm. Mm. I see. Where they start actual their mm. graduation thesis. Mm -hmm. mm. And these are architect students, right? Studying architecture. Yes. So mm. their research would be in something architecture based. Yes. Mm. Mm. I see. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that sounds uh, like it's going to keep you busy with <laughs> all those projects and uh, discussions. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. So last year was the third year of the new English cur curriculum. Mm. Mm. So I was so uh, busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's still quite new then, isn't it? Three years is uh, you know still settling in to yes. the curriculum. And in the second year of the new curriculum, yeah, and, uh, we we had to start teaching online. Mm. Uh, yeah, because of the so COVID everything. pandemic, so everything changed mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I think everyone can relate to that now. We were all in yes. that, what we call emergency remote learning situation. Um, mm -hmm. And especially for, Nine uh, sorry, for Ninense, mm. uh, they had to uh, uh, discuss or talk for their group project mm. online. Mm. I think that was very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> hard enough to do face to face in a, in a foreign language but then when you introduce remote mm -hmm. tools like these it becomes even more difficult but it must be quite satisfying for you to to set up and to see this new curriculum um coming into into being yes mm. Mm -hmm. great yeah because I, I, when i enter the kindai the, and, uh, and in my department mm. so english subjects were separated mm. uh, like right we had a writing mm -hmm. class but there was no uh, no in integration yeah <laughs> so no integration yeah yeah yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah it's it's really important isn't it to be able to bring things together i mean yeah I, I so many universities i think are like that you know there's a subject here a subject here a subject mm. here um, but it's probably more rare that actually those subjects actually mesh together uh, in, a, yeah. in a coherent way. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. Well, thank you for uh, that insight into your current teaching situation. And if I can just ask you uh, to finish up about JELT, because oh. of course we're both yeah. members of JELT and specifically the NARA chapter. And I'm wondering about uh, what's been your involvement with JELT uh, in the past? Oh. Actually, yeah, I was sorry that I just attended the, uh, the meetings of Nara chapters. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And, uh, once I give a presentation at Dokodeshake, Lao Tiso. Mm. Uh, then we had a, you invited a teacher from oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, the University of Laos. That's right. He was the Asian scholar, the JELT Asian scholar mm -hmm. um, in 2019, I think it was, just before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Then I got the news. Then I attended that uh, the meeting where he came, where he talked. Mm -hmm. That was uh, my first appearance in Was it? Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And we've seen you several times after that, I think. Uh, yes, at, yes. Mm. Our local chapter meetings. It's always mm. good to see you there. Mm. Then I, I have never attended uh, general conferences. Do you mean the, uh, the international conference? The, the yeah, GELD yes, international yes, yes, conference? Yes. So every year, annual, GELD, annual conference. GELD holds a conference every year. Um, usually in November and the, the long weekend in November. 
-hmm. and that's really the uh the center the central event for gel national and it is actually an international event mm -hmm. in that uh, you know we get people from all over the world plenary speakers coming from everywhere and uh used to be about two thousand people were, oh, really? yes yes um quite quite a large scale event mm -hmm. um and so many presentations you know like at one time one presentation slot there's about i, I don't know i guess maybe 20 different presentations happening at once and, oh 20 uh, yeah 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 um so much and uh and i think that's what gelt is really all about is that people getting involved and presenting, sharing their own work. Because mm -hmm. uh, I think generally speaking, JELP members really like to, to share what they are doing. Mm -hmm. And so there's, there's, you know, there's just no end to the number of presentations that you can see at those na uh, national or international conferences every year. Mm -hmm. Of course, the last couple of years has been online. Um, okay. But um, um, you know, in the past, it's always a great a great opportunity to get to know people for networking, not just seeing presentations, but also getting to know a lot of people. So, yeah, you if you have a chance, uh, you you would probably be quite surprised to attend the JELT International Conference because it's really a big a big event uh, yeah. over three or four days, and so much happening. It's it's always um it's always a lot of fun. Ah. You said Nani, it, it takes place in November. November. Right. Yeah. Hmm. I think that that's uh, difficult for me to go. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I know. And I also know that Nani, it's often held in Shizuoka Prefecture. Shizuoka yes. yes, yes. Hmm. Shizuoka is a popular venue because, you know, it's kind of in between. I think it's in between Kansai and Kanto. So it's. Oh, okay. Um, you know, quite accessible. It's like a cent the center of Japan. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Shizuoka and Na Nagoya, we often have events. Uh, we often have the international conferences there. But this year, um, this year is 2022. It's going to be held in Fukuoka, I think for the first time down in Kyushu oh. in the mm -hmm. city of Fukuoka. So you can eat um, tonkotsu ramen at the same okay. time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not only online this year. It's a hybrid it's um planning it's planning for in, on site as well as yeah. online i think from now on i think everything's going to have to be um hybrid in some kind of ways hybrid yeah um i guess um because you know everyone's well, we don't know what's going to happen for example <laughs> if whether it's going to be possible or not so you need to have the online option available but then it's it's proven quite popular actually and i think you might find even with your students if they're given the option on site or online, many of them will take online. I'm not saying it's better or worse. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just saying that option um, is is quite a popular option, um, not just for students, but for example, conferences as well. Yeah. And of oh. course, Nara Jelt uh, is holding a conference for the first time oh. this year in December. 2022 and that's another great opportunity for uh for you shoji to get involved i'd love to see you there yeah of course it's... Mm. 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 yeah i'm pleased any i know tell me anything except i'm counting money <laughs> i'm very bad at counting money so <laughs> all right well shall we wrap this up Okay. And say a thank you once again to Shoji Miyanaga for being our guest on the Meet the Members series. Thanks, Shoji. And See thank you, Reed. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Nara Jelt Meet the Members interview series. Hope you enjoyed it and look forward to the next one. Who knows? It might be featuring you. See you then.